We got a little snow today and in the process of clearing the driveway, we busted the shear pin here on the on the snow thrower, snow blower deal on the John Deere 285. And in case this happens to you, what'll happen is the auto will just spin freely because you can see that there is where the, the shear pin goes. So, whoops, when it's broken like it is now, it's not uh, connected at all to the drive. So if you're lucky, you might have some shear pins stored up here. I think it came with a bunch of them. I'll give you the part number for those a little bit later. Just grab one of these shear pins here and we'll turn this until it's lined up and then just install it. I don't have any other information about this other than it's a John Deere item and it's called 42 inch snow thrower. And these are the, this is the manual that came with it. You can see it there. That's on a 260, but we've got a, a 285 and it fits that too. So it fits different models. Uh, here's some more information here if that's helpful for you. Here's the note on page 20 about replacing the shear bolt. Uh, it was supposed to come with quite a few of those and they just store right there on the arm. And it's, you'll, you'll see this in a second, it's just this, that bolt there. There's, uh, there's only one shear bolt for the whole auger. There are the part numbers, the John Deere part numbers there for the shear bolt and nut. That there is what that set looks like. You can see the head is marked D. And these are, uh, the nut and the bolt are both 7 sixteenths. You can start the auger up and run it if you want this to move so you got a little better access. Like for example, if it was back there, you obviously wouldn't really be able to reach it very well. The picture in the manual shows the nut on this side, but no matter how we put this, we can't get that bolt in this way. It's just uh, not enough room. So we just put it in this way. This is only the third time in almost 22 years that we've broken a shear pin and we installed it this way the previous two times. So that's how we'll keep it. What happened on this particular auger is uh, we got in, we got a rock about that big, you know, a big old uh, cobblestone style, three, four inch rock. And it just got in there and got jammed. So it broke that pin. I hope this was helpful for you. You can get back to doing your snow removal. Uh, thanks for watching and good luck with your repair.